Well, I bought another Cat R80 forklift. So I got this Cat R80 forklift. It's a four x four, or at least it used to be. There's something wrong with this hub down here. So now this one, the drive shaft's been disconnected. It just uses two wheel drive. I got this one, which I just painted up in another video. That's a Cat R80, that's just a two wheel drive. Um, and then I came across this one, Cat R80 4x4. As far as I could tell, the 4x4 and everything works. Enclosed cab, a bit different cab than these ones. These are Harris cabs. This one, uh, there's a tag in there. I read what it was, but I can't remember, but it's, I don't recognize it. Uh, so this one was actually built by Eagle Pitcher. So these forklifts, they were made by Cat, uh, who made the R80, Noble made an R80, and Eagle Pitcher made an R80. Identical machine, same specs, just different name on them. So, I mean, this will be getting deckled with Cat in the end, just because it's way cooler than Eagle Pitcher. But, uh, but yeah, so this is a new project. I'll show you around. So this machine just came off a trailer from uh, from out west. This tire was flat, so tire guy just came and put a tube in here. This tire was worth saving. Lots of tread left on it, and they're hard to find right now. These are 15-19.5 tires. This machine, someone put mirrors on it. It's got some extra lights here, and then uh, some of these little LED cubes up there that one broken off there and there's another one on that side so i don't know, might put new ones on or you might just save those this has the higher mast on it notice how that one has the low profile mast this one has the higher mast uh it's got the wide fork carriage sitting a bit crooked because that tire is a little bit low if i noticed when the tire guy was here i would have gotten to air it up but we'll just do that ourselves uh something unique about this machine it's got like the forks will lift up and down, tilt forward, tilt back, and then it has side shift, but it also has fork positioner, so you can spread the forks. Uh, this cylinder is for side shift, but these these two cylinders here will actually spread the forks or bring them together, so that's kind of nice when you're trying to get into a pallet. Yeah, this cab is definitely different than the ones on uh, on these guys these guys have a lot more visibility but uh, still just nice to have a cab so on this one it's got two front windows so the plan is uh, same as it was with this one clean it up give it a quick little paint job and uh, make it look a lot better than it does get all the lights working get some air in that tire because it's sitting low and making the machine sit all crooked uh, melt the snow off first, I guess. It's got the little uh, Perkins diesel in it, which I think they all have. Like, we'll have to get a cap for that cooler reservoir and wash it down, figure out if it's got any leaks. Battery actually had some leaks in it. I had to boost it, but, uh, but it did have enough power to crank for a little while anyway, just not enough to start. So I'm missing uh, the one slider window here. Probably have to get one made. Oh, what else? It's a four speed transmission, so you can pick your gear and then that's how you take it from two wheel to four wheel. These are all your controls. And it currently has this strap on it because there's something wrong with this door latch. So you have to probably just replace it, honestly. Yeah, these windows slide open and shut. Yeah, it says Martin Cab Company. Huh. Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, I don't know, I never, uh, oh, we got some preventative maintenance stuff there. That's kind of cool. And yeah, this machine's only showing 2,500 hours, which is really low, I mean, I guess you never know if it's correct or not, but it's prevented the maintenance as it was done at 11.31 hours. So, I mean, that kind of makes sense, I guess. Yeah, we'll get the, uh, gonna leave it in here overnight, let it melt, and I might run to, uh, yeah, so plan for right now is just to, uh, 
leave it inside for the night, let all the snow melt off. There's a car wash across the street. I might run it over there tomorrow. Give it a good wash. That way I can find any leaks and stuff like that. And then uh, plan is to sand it down and spray it just like the other machine there. Hopefully it looks, uh, hopefully it turns out half as good as that one turned out. I think, to me, I think it turned out really good. This thing looks great. Use it to take a body off the truck the other day. Use my other one here too. And uh, I don't know, I guess three's better than two, so why not? It's the next morning and it's the next morning, everything melted off the machine. So now we can see it. Some decals I'm gonna wanna take off here. I don't know about these lights, like, I've never seen tail lights on a forklift before, so. I might leave them, I might take them off. To me, they're kind of tacky, but. This too, I mean, this, this light mount, someone put a lot of time into fabbing this up and installing it, but. I don't know, it's weird to me. I mean, if I put a, maybe like a reverse light from a truck in here, it would be really bright, but. It's just weird. I guess the mirrors are good to have. The other thing is these cabs are supposed to be yellow on these forklifts and this one's black. I don't know if it's because it's this, this different cab company than the other two, but uh, I think it should be yellow. It should look the way it should look, I think, so. This is weird, there's like a fabric piece down here. I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna start taking some stuff off that doesn't need to be here, clean it up a bit and uh, Peel some decals off, start sanding.
Well, I got all the accessories off this side. There was a tail light up there. There was some kind of weird headlight mirror assembly thing here, some kind of bracket there. Got rid of all that. None of the other machines have that. This one doesn't need it either. So this held a fire extinguisher. I might put it back on after actually, it's pretty good to have, but it's got to go for painting, so I got to take it off. Fire extinguisher goes in here, clamps shut. It's good to have, I might put it back on after. Okay, just finished sanding this thing up. Did the, the whole body, all the yellow parts. I did the cab where it's black. I stopped filming after a while. I figured it's uh, repetitive, but I masked it all up and gave it a quick little wipe down. I'm just gonna go grab some lunch and come back and spray it in. Got it all prepped, it's time to spray it in. I decided to do the rims this time, so it's gonna be a little bit more paint. I think it's gonna turn out a lot better. Uh, cleaned everything up with some brake clean, wiped it down, gave it a light scuff, blew it off. Hopefully the paint sticks, we'll see how it goes. I mean, they can't look any worse than they already do, so. So yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh, I think I'm gonna have to take my shoes off. 
climb up there because the ground's dirty here. I don't want to track anything up now that the machine's all clean. So uh, I'll probably jump up there, take my shoes off, start by spraying in the roof, work my way around the cab, and then do the lower stuff. So here we go. Okay, just finished up went pretty well my tip kept clogging up so I don't know I was using uh, I had like two or three gallons of half full of paint so I was just using my old gallons uh, maybe it sat too long in the shop I don't know but uh, yeah tip was clogging up but uh, got it all sprayed in wheels turned out pretty good got as much on there as I could I actually ran out of paint like halfway through the last wheel, but uh, sprayed just enough to make it happen. So, come back tomorrow and mask it and see how it turned out. Well, it's the next day. Let's see how these wheels turned out.
I'll, they look pretty good. That was worth doing. Okay, I got it all unmasked, uh, put everything back together. A couple issues with it. I guess this uh, door latch here is broken, so I'll have to get one of those. These latches, I took them off, but they're, I could put them back on and make them work, but they're all bent and stuff. Probably try and get some new ones. Painted this up, put the panel back on. Just gotta get some, some decals and everything for it. Uh, it's missing half of this window. So I'll have to get a piece of plexi cut, cut for there, I guess. Yeah, otherwise it's not too bad. Actually, uh, pulled this floor liner out, ran it over to the car wash, cleaned it up really nice, put it back in. So that's good. Um, probably change the seat because it's got some rips and tears in it. Gotta get the heater working. It's minor stuff, but uh, makes a difference anyway. So get it done and show you how it turns out when it's all said and done. It'll be very similar to the other machines, just uh, working four by four. So that'll be kind of cool. So I got the decals on that forklift, uh, I got some grip tape on the steps, we got a uh, new door latch for it, fixed uh, fixed all the little issues we could find, it was all really minor stuff, it needed, uh, it needed a cap for the coolant reservoir, and you know, it was just a little handful of things. Um, Tires were good, ran good, operated good. Uh, the guys at the shop made a, made a window at a, a Lexan, so we were able to fill the window in and uh, used it a couple times. And then uh, what happened was a customer came to look at uh, another forklift I was selling, but he really needed four by four. I didn't want to sell this machine, but uh, he, you know, he was adamant adamant that he needed four by four for what he does, and 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 he does for uh, for the condition that the, their yard is in, I guess, uh, from what he said to me. But so basically, I I, I let it slip that I had a four by four. Uh, mentioned I didn't want to sell it, but uh, 
he decided to come look at it anyway. Uh, he ended up really liking it and he bought it. So, uh, so I only got to use it a couple times and, uh, but you know what, this guy, he really needed one. He'd been looking for a long time, needed the four x four. Uh, I could get by without the four x four so I could keep my other units that are just two wheel drive. So, uh, you know what, it, it worked out all right for everyone. Uh, but I, I am on the hunt for another four x four. They're just, uh, they're just so cool. And we ended up getting about eight inches of snow at the yard there. And, uh, I took that four x four for a little rip and unloaded some stuff and it didn't care about the snow at all. So it's, uh, it's definitely better to have the four x four if you can, but you know, I'll, I'll get by with my old ones. So, um, yeah, it's another one, another, another machine that I didn't plan on, uh, selling ended up fixing it up cleaning it up painting it and uh i can't help myself i ended up selling it so <laughs> it is what it is but thanks for watching and uh let's uh let's get going on the next project